Hello my student, this is Shantanu. Welcome back to my channel again. In today's class, I am going to discuss some questions related to fill in the blanks for the competitive exams like SSC, CGL, CHSL, MTS, Bank, NDA, etc. etc. This is fill in the blanks series part 13. Kindly browse through the playlist of my channel Competitive English. You will find all the required series for the competitive exam. Now without wasting any more time, let's move into the class. So look through the first question. The, the crowd here is the blank. Give the victorious team a tumultuous welcome. Tumultuous means noisy. Here it means a red carpet welcome amidst great excitement, troublesome, arrogant, noisy, rapturous. So repeating, the crowd gave the victorious team a tumultuous welcome. Tumultuous means very noisy, but here means a red carpet welcome with great excitement. There are four options, arrogant, arrogant means one who does not care for anything else. Noisy, you all know the meaning of noisy. Rapturous means extremely happy or delightful. So if I ever say the troublesome crowd, it is not having any meaning. If I say arrogant, the crowd is not at all arrogant at all. Noisy, it is not properly matched up. But if I ever say rapturous, that means the crowd was extremely happy over the victory. So we can easily say the rapturous crowd. So the answer lies in option D. Now look for the next question. Here is a blank. An old legend King Shirham lived in India. According to an old legend or according to an old legend or in accordance with an old legend we can also say like this. King Shiram lived in India. There are four options in the event of, on the eve of, in pursuance of, on the ground of. On the, on the ground of indicates or symbolizes reasons. In pursuance of symbolizes in accordance with or according to. On the eve of means before. In the event of means if anything happens. If anything happens refers to in the event of, on the eve of means before, in pursuance of means according to, and on the ground of refers to some reasons. So in the event of an if any event happened, it is not about that. On the eve of an old legend, it is not about that. In pursuance of it may be, in pursuance of an old legend, on the ground of it is not having any meaning at all. But if I ever say in pursuance of or according to or in accordance with an old legend, King should have lived in India, it is having some meaning. In absence of means according to, old legend refers to some old famous story. Old famous story. So, according to an old famous story, heart on every leaf we can easily say in pursuance of. Now look over the next question. Though he got older, his belief in these principles did not. There are four options. Wider, shake, dither, ever. Wider means dry. Shake means this is called shake or tremble. Dither means a very confusing, nervous and noisy state. A very confusing, nervous and noisy state. Waver. So waver, you can also say waver. But waver is not quite appropriate here. Because waver means falter. Waver means falter. Dither means noisy, agitated state or conditions. Shake means travel. Wither means try. So I, it, is, it is true that whenever anyone gets older, his beliefs get dried up, but 
he's he's such a person whose belief is not widened or dried up in spite of being old so though he got older his belief in this principle did not wither neither shake not dither not ever will be the appropriate answer dither means or dither refers to some agitated and noisy state of mind waver means falter or you can say hesitate shake means tremble so the right answer lies in option a that is why there now look for the next question the chair person here is a blank my suggestion there are four options broad sobers means extremely happy right sob means prepared quickly brushes aside means leaps out totally make sober means total surrender make sober means surrender or submit brushes aside mean leaves out right sob mean prepare quickly broad sob mean extremely happy so i gave some suggestion i give some suggestion but the chair person totally rejects it or brushes aside so if i look over the overall class the first answer goes for option d that is rapturous second goes for option c that is impartial sob third goes for option c that is wither means dry and the last one goes for option c that is brushes aside meaning or means leaving aside or leaving out so this is my class for the day as far as filling the blanks or concerns if you think my video is helpful you can share my video subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell icon for more such video if you would like to know any more thing regarding this class or regarding your competitive exams you can easily make your comments in the comment box section kindly wait for my next class till then have a very good day